Well, this is a special day because a brand new year in review player pick pack has been released into FIFA. We're going to test how good or bad these truly, truly are. So guys, here we are with the first one of the day here. People aren't sure whether we can get Messi here, so I, I don't know. We'll see. We want to try and get the best player possible, though. It is SPCs and objectives. Gakpo and Timu Puki, guys, in the first one. That is probably not the start I envisaged right there. Yeah, I, I, I'm not going to lie. That is uh, nowhere near what I thought I was going to get. I was expecting Messi. Pack number two of the day is ready, guys, for another cheeky year in review player pick. All yours, man. Please get Messi or Queen Lewandowski. Play them on Valve. Oh, Gosens 86 rated. Okay. I think, to be honest, that's okay. It's nothing. I mean, is that even a live card? I don't, I don't even know these days. Well, pack three is uh, all but ready to go here, guys. A banging new card is about to be in this SBC from October. That makes no sense. He gets Medell Flashback. So I'm trying to think which other flashbacks we can get there. Uh, Weisendahl as well, but he does obviously go for the flashback Medell. Had to. Well, here we go again. Here we go again. We need something great here. I really want to see something special. Hopefully something unbelievable. Here we go. I pressed X, guys. Go on. Dodo or Ghostens. We haven't got a player, guys, above 87 rated, I don't think, so far. We need to start seeing those players, man, and fast. We really do. Here we go. Pack five for something fantastic. We're talking like a great, great option of a player pick here. Something unreal. Oh, there you go. We just saw someone in the chat on Twitch there get a uh, rule break Alaba. Now this guy's got it. So you can get some mad rule break cards, guys, as well. He probably still is in that meta kind of curve as well, so I think that's actually quality. And today I want to tell you how I've become an amazing manager in football. Welcome to Top 11. I've been playing Top 11 for years, guys, and I want to tell you all about the new features in this sensational game. Top 11 is an entire football universe in your pocket, where you're in charge of every aspect of your club. From signing a team of superstars to creating your own stadium, your club, your rules. You can team up and play with your friends, win championships, customize your ground, you can collect jerseys and emblems and lots more. Top 11 has been played by 260 million players worldwide. What is that for a stat? That's amazing. And today we're back on Top 11, guys. And as you can see, if I complete these objectives, I get to sign a new player. Thank you, Jose, for that. Right, I love that Jose is like the big part of this. It's so sick. I've actually changed some of these tactics, guys. Only a team mentality, attacking, passing style. I'll keep that as is. I'm happy to go with that. Now, this is my current squad, guys, on Top 11. If you have a better squad, though, comment down below in the video with what your team is. This team has done amazing for me in the past in Top 11, and it's going to be the team that takes me to glory. Now, I'm currently fourth in the league, which is pretty good, but we can improve on that. What I love about top 11, guys, is how much you do control, which is so fantastic. You can play top 11 for free. It's on the App Store, on PC, on Google Play, wherever you guys normally download your app, top 11 will be there. Now, there is a new feature on top 11 that is super exciting, and it's called Penalty Clash. Before Penalty Clash, though, guys, I do need to sign a new TV contract right now, which I've got to do. I'm going to go for extra for dedication there. That's really cool. Actually, we do get a lot of extra tokens there. Let's go ahead and sign that for my club. And we now have a new media rights deal. That's lovely. And this is what it is, guys. Penalty clash. Here we go. We can get amazing rewards from this. Yes, please. Right, I'm going to go England, guys, and penalty clash. We just have to. Here we go. Penalty clash. To shoot, tap and hold when the target is inside the goal. Hold the bar until it's in the green area. Guys, I've gone for... Oh my god, first penalty, I've missed it. Oh no. Right, I've got to tap and hold it. Oh, until the green area, got it. It's a good penalty though, guys. You know what, I'll take that. To defend, use the bar to select the area the goalkeeper will defend. Okay, got it. I'm going to go right. Come on. Yes, what a save. Have I just had subtitles from top 11? Let's... <laughs> That's amazing. We've saved it again? <laughs> We are amazing at penalty clash, guys. That's fantastic. Wow. So we get more points, guys, in top 11 for that. That is honestly so, so nice. Also, with penalty clash, it is a new time-limited event that is going from the 17th of November until the 26th of November, and then the 13th until the 18th of December. You guys know, though, I love building a stadium, and especially in top 11. The customization is amazing. So we're going to upgrade that right now. I'm going to spend that cash there on this, guys. We need to do it. A new stadium's 
being built and again what a feature this is on top 11. I'm actually going to increase the pace there so there it is guys level one stadium complete let's go how big should my stadium be though guys comment down below do let me know looking at the squad though I really think we can improve the center mid position guys let's try and buy a new player I've bid and won Juan Oliver from Argentina we've bought him as well we've outbid it five of the clubs guys clearly a sought after player right let's add him to the bench and then we can add him to the starting 11 what a player guys he is going to be I love that there are more amazing features though guys about top 11 there are four exciting competitions that do happen in every top 11 season the league the cup the champions league and the super league there are also 3D live matches now in Top 11. And I play this app, guys, a lot. It is so much fun. And if you want to play Top 11, it is free to play. It's on the App Store, guys. It's on PC. It's fantastic. Download it in the link down below. Enjoy Top 11 and do tell me your Top 11 team that you use in this fantastic game. So, pack six is ready, guys, after being an incredible manager there on Top 11. So let's try and get someone fantastic. Someone very surprising and, you know... Quality, hopefully. Go on. Be someone amazing. Uh, flashback Falcao is pretty great. People talking about these flashback cards, and the reason why I love these player pick SPCs is that you can get those players that you maybe didn't have or could afford at the time, and you might have just missed out or forgot about, right? And now you've got the chance to go and get them. I do like this SPC. Oh, wow. Right. Two rule breakers in this year in review player pick. Now, while you guys check out those players there, the price of this new SBC in FIFA today is, what price are we saying here, guys? It is 49k for this SBC. You can probably get it done for a very, very cheap price. I think it's worth, you know, the punt of this. I really do think it's worth it, you know, in terms of if you can get it done for like 5 or 10k. But if you can, try not to spend 50k on it. We are trying to get something fantastic here. We haven't seen the play of the month Messi yet, but he is in these player picks somewhere. Somewhere in the world, guys. Someone has got Player of the Month Messi when they haven't completed him back in October. Chiesa or Alex Tellez? To be honest, Alex Tellez looks so cracked, and that is a wonderful card. Surely Alex Tellez there, guys, is the play. With those kind of stats, you know, the ability to be a great centre mid or CDM, hopefully, as well. Actually, I'm hoping... He, can he... What's Tellez's alternate positions? Have I just completely guessed he's a centre mid? Oh, my God, he can't... Has he got a left wing back... They really miss a trick, guys, making him a centre mid, didn't they? If only he was centre mid. It's hard to remember, isn't it, guys, which players you can get. If someone can comment down below, like, oh my god, a comprehensive list of every player that was released into SBCs and objectives in October, that would be really helpful, guys. If someone was willing to do that, do let me know in the comment section, because it's difficult to remember who was released. That is by far the worst pack so far. I mean, you can't get worse than Shackleton and Quignon there from the MLS. That is hard to beat in terms of a bad one, right? Very cool team, man. Quality team. And he is ready for this brand new SBC, which I'm hoping is, start, is going to start to give out better players than the last one with those two storyline players. I really do. But we'll see, guys. I mean, these SBCs now are interesting to say the least it's also interesting how monday is now like the content day sure it used to be like sunday didn't it anyway here we are guys pack 10 of the day for a great year in review player pick and it is de jong or sonora oh my god um five so weak foot's nice to be honest if he had like good dribbling that card would be wonderful but he doesn't so that again is probably an l Oh, we're opening it already. Pack 11 is Chuck Wazy there, who I did get on my one-day RTG, which I was very proud of. But for a player pick pack like this, you need to start seeing better pack look, man. I think we can all agree about that. So 49k for this player pick pack. Surely this is going to be worthwhile. Surely. Messi. Um, Abel Ruiz. Oh, God. We need to see high-rated players here, guys. We Or maybe... A flashback Thiago Silva would be gorgeous, but my God, we really need some better pack look here. I mean, 49k for this, nearly 50k. We got to start seeing that better pack look. Someone made a really good point there. Why are these called year in review when it's not the whole year? Surely these should be called October review packs or month in review player picks. If anyone knows why, do let me know. By the way, if you are enjoying the video and the content lately, do hit the like button, guys. Very much helps the channel out. 
And um, yeah, we'll get into this next one to see if it's worthwhile for you opening yours today. Go on. Be something great. Oh, oh. Finally, we get an actually great one. So as the chat just said there, Messi is attainable in these, but so is Kulazewski. So is David Alaba there. I'd probably go with Alaba all day. Comment down below, guys, though. Who would you choose out of those two? Everyone has asked me to do this pack again to see if it's actually worth it. So without further ado, guys, let's go and pack ourselves a 2.9% chance of an icon. These are hilariously, not hilariously, horrendously untradeable. 100 player pack. Brozovic, 86 rated. Guys, you told me to open this and I expected something amazing. Instead, we get Brozovic, and I think that might be the best player in that one. Oh my god. That is actually horrendous. Now, because I'm really stupid, guys, and a proper idiot, I mean, we are going to now do the 86 plus pack. Apparently, these are good. 2.4% chance of an icon. 100,000 coins here as well. We don't want to see that 100 pack ever again. So I'm hoping now this is fantastic. Please be good. 100,000 coins for this. Walk out at least. Okay. It's guaranteed, isn't it? Um, Rudiger 86. Again, I was told these were amazing. My God. Right, we're ready for another one here, guys. Pack 16 of the day for someone stunning, right? Someone absolutely cracked. And it is Dan Juma. Is that good or bad? In November, nearly December. Here we go. Another guaranteed player pick. Inform Kevin De Bruyne. Oh my God, that is the worst decision I've seen this entire ultimate team. Oh my God. De Bruyne has gone, guys. Say goodbye to Kevin De Bruyne. Valverde, though. Maybe that's a good replacement for Inform De Bruyne. David Raum, friend of the channel. Valverde, guys. Um, that might have been worth it. <laughs> oh my God. That was, that was a bit of a mad ending. I mean, now he's got rid of De Bruyne. Now he's got Valverde. Please, can this pack... Oh, wow. 84 plus 20. Oh my God. 84 plus 20, guys. Right, let's go, bro. Might need to be a quick packet, guys, because of the connection, but let's get it opened. Let's go. 84 plus 20, guys. He's gone for it, for the content. Oh, who is this? Right. Um, Alexander Mitrovic, 82 pace. Uh, decent card, not expensive at all, though. I think he's like, is he like 18k or something? Um, I'm now a bit nervous for the rest of this pack. Oh, God. Please be good. Please. He's got a lot of walkouts, to be honest. Um, right. Who else has he got, though? Who's the duplicate? Please be an icon. <laughs> okay, Costage Guys is not an icon. So, guys, you can get icons in pretty much any pack right now. However, this has a good percentage of them. 2.4% is okay. Let's see how we do with this one. Right. Oh, we got someone good. Hold on. Why does the Mitrovic camera go right before and now it's gone left? That's so weird. Right, first one in pack 19 was Mitrovic, guys. Then we've got some cheeky player picks here. Hopefully, Ronaldo can appear out of nowhere from the World Cup version. That will be amazing. Uh, we've got three more to do there and then another 86 plus. Hoping that, you know, with spending coins on these, it could be worthwhile, right? Let's get it. Right, Hoiberg there as well. Let's go. Fakir can probably go. Right, how are they untradeable, by the way? That, to me, just is insane. Right, coins on this one, guys. I'm nervous for this. Oh, my God. Really? Centre-back Rudiger again? 100k for that pack, guys. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this big new video today. Who did you get in your year-in-review player pick pack SBC pack? Do let me know. Comment down below who you got. Have a special day, and I'll see you guys on the next new video.